Think Beyonce. Now think president. Not so far-fetched, is it? This may seem like an unusual comparison, but it's the link we're about to explore. We'll delve into the essence of Marianne Schnall's book, What Will It Take to Make a Woman President? And how the themes within it resonate with the journey of the music icon, Beyonce. In her book, Schnall explores the societal and cultural obstacles that women often encounter on their path to leadership. It's a deep dive into the systemic barriers, biases, and stereotypes that have kept the highest office in the land a stronghold for men. But it's not just about the challenges. The book also celebrates the resilience and strength of women, their ability to shatter glass ceilings, and their potential to lead with compassion, wisdom, and integrity. Now, let's shift our focus to Beyoncé. A powerhouse in the music industry, she has faced her own share of hurdles. The music world, much like politics, is a male-dominated landscape. Beyoncé's journey, from a young talent in Destiny's Child to a multi-award-winning solo artist, is a testament to her tenacity and determination. She's faced criticism, bias, and intense scrutiny, and yet, she's rising time and time again to become a global econ. Beyoncé has not only navigated this landscape, but also used her platform to challenge the status quo. She's become a symbol of female empowerment, a beacon of resilience, and a vocal advocate for racial and gender equality. Her journey, much like the women leaders featured in Schnall's book, is a testament to the power of a woman. It's in this intersection of paths that we find our link. Beyoncé's journey mirrors the struggles and triumphs of many women leaders, a theme central to Marianne Schnall's book. Her story, like that of countless other women, is a testament to the power of a woman's will, the strength of her spirit, and the boundless potential within her. Beyoncé didn't just break the glass ceiling, she shattered it. From the streets of Houston, Texas, to the glittering stages of global fame, Beyoncé's journey has been one of relentless pursuit and unyielding determination. The barriers she faced and overcame are akin to the very societal and cultural hurdles that Marianne Schnall explores in her book, What Will It Take to Make a Woman President? Beyoncé's rise to the top was not without its share of struggles. In an industry dominated by men, she had to fight for her voice to be heard, her talent to be recognized, and her creativity to be respected. She faced the challenges head-on, refusing to be boxed into the prescribed roles or expectations. This echoes Schnall's discussion on the need for women to break free from societal norms and expectations to carve their own paths. But Beyoncé didn't stop there. She used her platform to address broader issues, shedding light on the inequality and discrimination that women, and particularly women of color, face. She used her music, her art, and her influence to challenge the status quo, sparking conversations about gender, race, and power. This is a direct parallel to Schnall's argument that women leaders need to use their positions to bring about societal change. Beyond her career, Beyoncé has also broken barriers in her personal life. She has redefined the expectations of motherhood, marriage, and femininity, challenging the traditional narratives and proving that women can have it all, the career, the family, and the personal fulfillment. Schnall echoes this sentiment, advocating for a world where women are not forced to choose between personal and professional success. Beyoncé's journey is more than just a success story. It's a narrative of resilience, of breaking barriers, and of challenging the status quo. It's about refusing to be confined by the boundaries society sets for you, and instead, carving out your own path. Beyoncé's rise to fame is a testament to her resilience, a quality Marianne Schnall believes is crucial for women pursuing leadership roles. Beyoncé isn't just a singer, she's a movement. She's a force to be reckoned with, a global icon who has transcended the realm of music to become a cultural phenomenon. And this, my friends, is the phenomenon we call the Beyoncé effect. But what does this mean? The Beyoncé effect is the profound impact Beyoncé has had on pop culture and society at large. It's the empowerment anthems that have become rallying cries for women worldwide. It's her unapologetic embrace of her femininity and her refusal to be boxed into societal norms. It's her fervent advocacy for racial equality and social justice. The Beyoncé effect is the embodiment of a woman who is not just a leader in her field, but a leader of societal change. Now, let's turn our attention to Marianne Schnall's book, What Will It Take to Make a Woman President? In her book, Schnall explores the idea that women leaders can bring about significant societal change. She argues that women, with their unique perspectives and experiences, have the potential to reshape our world in powerful ways. Sound familiar?
That's because Beyonce is living proof of this principle. By using her platform to advocate for women's rights, racial equality, and social justice, Beyonce is affecting societal change. She's challenging the status quo and inspiring others to do the same. She's showing us that a woman's place is wherever she wants it to be, whether that's on the stage, in the boardroom, or in the Oval Office. Just as Schnall argues, Beyonce demonstrates that women leaders aren't just capable of bringing about change, they're essential to it. With every song, every performance, and every statement, Beyonce is rewriting the narrative for women everywhere. So, the next time you find yourself humming along to Run the World Girls, remember this, it's not just a catchy tune, it's a testament to the transformative power of women leaders. Beyonce's influence on society echoes Marianne Schnall's belief in the transformative power of women leaders. Beyonce's strength lies not just in her power, but in her vulnerability. When you think about Beyonce, images of a dynamic performer, a creative genius, and a powerful woman may come to mind. But what's perhaps most striking about her, is her vulnerability. Beyonce allows herself to be seen, not just in moments of triumph, but also in times of struggle. Through her music, she shared personal experiences of miscarriage, infidelity, and societal pressures, painting a picture of her life that's as real as it is relatable. This openness has only endeared her more to her fans. It's a testament to the fact that vulnerability, far from being a weakness, is a strength. It's a quality that makes her human and approachable, in spite of her immense fame. It's a trait that helps her connect with her audience on a deeply personal level. And it's a characteristic that makes her not just admired, but also loved. This idea of vulnerability as a strength is a principle that's echoed in Marianne Schnall's book, What Will It Take to Make a Woman President? Schnall argues that our leaders need to be people who can show their vulnerabilities, who can admit their mistakes and learn from them. Because it's in these moments of vulnerability that we see their humanity, their authenticity. It's in these moments that we can truly connect with them. Beyonce embodies this principle beautifully, her willingness to be vulnerable, to share her struggles and triumphs, her highs and lows, has made her more than just a pop icon, it's made her a role model a beacon of strength and resilience for millions of people around the world. And it's this vulnerability that's been key to her enduring appeal. Just as Schnall suggests, Beyonce's strength lies not just in her power, but in her vulnerability, in her ability to be seen, to be understood, to be human. Beyonce's vulnerability, a trait Marianne Schnall sees as a strength in leaders, has been key to her enduring appeal. Could Beyonce be president? Why not? Now, there's a thought that might seem outlandish at first, but let's dive a little deeper. In Marianne Schnall's book, What Will It Take to Make a Woman President? The author explores the concept of a woman's potential to lead a nation. Schnall's book highlights qualities such as empathy, resilience, and a strong moral compass as essential traits for a leader. Now, let's take a moment to think. Does Beyonce embody these qualities? Quite evidently, she does. Beyonce isn't just a singer or an entertainer. She's a global icon, a beacon of hope, and a symbol of strength for many. She's broken barriers and shattered glass ceilings, all while maintaining her integrity and authenticity. Just as a president should, Beyonce has used her platform to advocate for change, challenge societal norms, and inspire millions. Her influence extends far beyond the music industry. She's an entrepreneur, a philanthropist, and a social activist. She's shown us time and time again that she's not afraid to take a stand and use her voice to address important issues, from gender equality to racial injustice. These are the qualities of a leader, of someone who could, potentially, lead a nation. But, we must remember, Beyonce's power isn't in the possibility of her becoming a president. It's in the message she sends, the barriers she breaks, and the lives she inspires. It's in the way she's proven that a woman, no matter where she comes from or what she does, can rise to the top and make a difference. So, could Beyonce be president? Perhaps. But more importantly, she's already a leader, showing us what it truly means to be powerful. Beyonce's journey from singer to influencer to potential political leader embodies the principles of Marianne Schnall's book, and that, in itself, is a testament to the power of a woman.